Yes, my people, it's all about the T10 Cricket. Ever sleep. Mari and Wiley. Mashkat about to open the bowling for this Gibraltar team. Royals versus Blasters. Mari to face the first ball of the high innings. Signal from the scorer for the umpires. Mashkat comes up and bows to Mari. First ball, it's gone for six. And Bim is very pleased with his opening pair of Wiley and Mari so far. Hyde showing their intent to blast this Gibraltar team back down the table. Smash Cat comes up in the second. Uh, yeah, long time. It's a beautiful one outside of Stump. Mari trying to guide it down to third I'm man. Yeah. I'm Beat Ledge. Smash Cat comes up and goes to Mari again. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful delivery going down yeah, the leg side. Okay. okay, my sweet baby. Mari, intention is to go big. Okay, yeah. And he's born him. Oh my God. And he's back he's to the old. pavilion. The first over. It's now six for one. <laughs> Don't boot something, man, man. And of the fourth ball of the innings, Mari goes. That's a go on, Wiley. And now it requires for Pimbo to be at the crease. Gregory switching up his feet. And it's six for one in over number one in this T10 competition. Mashkat, of course, we all know is a very good bowler. Comes up and bowls to Bim. It's a wide signal by the umpire. The score moves on to seven in a point four. Come on, Gibraltar! First over in the innings of Hyde Blasters as Mashkat comes up and bows to Bim again. And it's a swing. And it's in the end. It goes for six. And Bim continues where Mari left off. We all know the potential of Bentley. He's a strike batsman. And that's 12 runs from five balls, 13 runs, 12 off the bat. It's a beautiful delivery. And Bim trying to cover up. And at the end of over number one, it's 13 for one. And Jogslaw, the number nine. Showing his vice captain role. Show nine, boy. Show nine, boy. Motivating, boy. Motivating uh, Yai. And Jugslot customizes number nine. It looks like a whistle. I'm wondering if he's trying to say he's the match referee. Come, Yai, ball. Come, Yai, ball. this. Wiley. Now, we make runs. And Jugs Lord. In Lilina, what the expensive? As Yai comes up and bows to Wiley. Come on, Yai. Yeah, that's yeah. wide as it gets. And that's 14 for one as Yai comes up and bows to Wiley. That's a brilliant cut for four. 
And that's 18 for one of 1.1 overs. While he moves on to four, Bimbo not out on six. Two wides in the innings of blasters so far. As Wiley come, as Yai comes up and goes to Wiley and he's pulled away for a brilliant single. On to 19 for one of 1.2 overs. While he moves on to five, Bim still on six. <laughs> come on, 69. Come and on, 69 man. 69 has dropped their sponsorship from Wiley. Breaking news. He no longer acquired to wear that number. And that's pulled away by Bim. There's a chance for a run out, and it's a misfield. Fila was under a bit of pressure from Wiley. Who is trying to convince 69 that he is still one of the best. And after Moa pull away their sponsorship from Wiley, 69 followed quickly. In over 1.3, it's 20 for 1. As Yai comes up and bows to Wiley. Oh, a beautiful delivery. That's a dot ball. 1.4 overs. That's another dot. As Yai comes up and bows to Wiley. Come on, Wiley, man. Good ball, And it's another dot. And at the end of over number two, it's 20 for one. Bim on seven, Wiley on five. After a brilliant start by Mari, we thought we would have seen a couple more sixes. Instead, his bails went dancing. And that summoned the service of Bim at the crease. And it's now Rasta, the bigger brother of Yai, to bowl from the southern end of the ground. We have breeze blowing easterly on the ground. Batsman giving his partner advice. The breeze blowing westerly, breeze blowing from the eastern end. As Wazaras comes up and bows to be Mr. Gift and it's pulled away for six. That's a team, yeah, yeah, brilliant yeah, shot by Bim. The score moves on to 26 for one in over number 2.1. Rasta, this a team, yeah, yeah, ball, them no Rasta deliveries got a flight itinerary to the pig pen stand. As Rasta comes up and bows to Bim again. It's a brilliant delivery outside of half stump. Bim trying to cut. But it seemed as if he's cutting the grass on the pitch. It's 26 for two in for one, sorry, in two point two overs as Rasta comes up and bows to Bim again. Another brilliant delivery outside of half stump. That's two consecutive duck ball after being hit for a six. Score still remain on 26 for one. Bim still on 13. As Rasta comes up and goes to Bim again, and it's another mistimed by Bim. He's disappointed with himself. He went down the track. As top shelf, the fielder 
Customized jersey. A, a 3D man, a 3D. You know? Trying to get six to partner with nine. Stealing while he's part. And there's a chance for a run out. Top shelf. <laughs> Unable to take up the delivery. As the man, got man. In the way. <laughs> but nonetheless, oh he prevented the a run. So it's his captain is very pleased with the feeling. Oh my, one man. Score yeah. moves on to 27, Bim moves on to 14. It's 27 for one. In over number three. While he's still on five. And Rasta comes up again. And that's a brilliant shot by Wiley as he continues his brilliant knock. He moves on to nine. The score moves on to 31. How would that? <laughs> Wiley trying to regain the sponsorship of 69. Not even the six is still on the jersey and at the end of over number three. It's, it's 31 for one. Wiley not out on nine. People on 13. Two fours and a single for Wiley. Two sixes and a single for Bim. As we I comes up and bows to Bim. I can't believe I won. I really chuck it at 31 for one. What time I really chuck it. Yes. Bim trying to set a platform for his team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. He's bowling very good so far. It's a very tidy over from him. Three dot balls so far in over number four. And been went down the track. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. We all know Bim is a brilliant football player, but he knew nothing about that delivery. <laughs> yes, yeah. And another brilliant delivery from Yai. It's five dot balls so far from him. Captain Romeo very happy with his bowler. As Yai. What's the response from Bim? It's a final delivery. And Yai. It's simple, simple. <laughs> You're gonna play with Charlie Ball in brother. <laughs> and Bimbo wanted the single, oh, but his partner, the non strikers, in saw the feeler running in and decided to turn him back. And it's a maiden over from Yai. And at the end of over number four, it's a brilliant God. comeback from the Gibraltar Royals. It's 31. It's 31 for one. Bimbo not out on 14 and Wiley not out on 9. New Frisco. And Frisco kid. Frisco. Frisco Kisco. Frisco about to bow to Wiley. And it's a brilliant delivery from him. Wow. As a Frisco one. And Frisco, All right, Frisco. the new signing, Romy boasting about his a free transfer what? from Common Ground. And Frisco, so far two dot balls, secret weapon as he comes up and bows to Wiley again. Pulled away from by Wiley for a single, the chance for a run out. Romy not able to catch. It's now 32 for one. Yo, 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 yo. 4.3 overs. Man, man, lick you, brother. See you, know, man. Easy, Wiley. Easy. Yeah, Mr. Frisco. I am in Frisco. Delivery from him. Went straight through. Beaten outside of half stump was Bim. Score still on 32 for one. And that's, yeah, wow. that's a brilliant, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, Frisco, man. Yeah, Romy. Yeah, Romy. And the final ball of the over. 
and it's put. It's a brilliant hit from Bim. He moves on to 20. The score moves on to 38 for one. After five overs, we're halfway through the innings. I want to let us go a little bit over. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Mm. Right, but the bottom of the kitchen. Mm. So about the thing you touch, man. Go on. A mash dog. So you have Frisco, Kisco, mash dog, mash cat, yay. And that's in the air. Is he going to be taken? It went into safe ground. Wiley. As mash dog comes up and bows to him. It's the bottom edge and he goes for four runs. Romy a bit disappointed with his wicket keeping. Casting his side, four runs, the score moves on to 42 for one. While he moves on to 13, Bim still not out on 20 at the non-striker's end. We're into over number six, it's 6.2 overs. And that was a gift. And while he didn't capitalize, and there is a chance for a run out. And it's overthrow for four. And it's now five runs, a single and a four overthrow. The score moves on to 47. The score moves on to 47. Six. 47 for one. I want that. While he moves on to 17, Bimbo on strike, not out on 20. 6.3 overs, and that's a brilliant shot, it's straight into the eye, and that's a brilliant shot, it's not, 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 and Jogs Lord, same pair of hands, <laughs> along with the belly to assist oh to ensure the ball was cushioned. Yes, Romy. And he's trying to convince six to join nine in his jersey. And the new batsman, Breeze, batting with wind blowing from the eastern side of the ground. It's a bit steady now. And that's it. Goes for six. And one thing all these high batsmen have, they get a brilliant start. And the score moves on to 53 for two. In over number six, four overs remaining. So 24 legal deliveries to go. At this rate, we're looking on not a huge total, but it would be a competitive total if they can get the bowling right. And Rasta was a Ras correction. And that's a hit. And it travels far as it gets. Can't get him under that, brother. While he moves on to 23. The score moves, the score moves on to 59. 59 for 2. And, and of course, we just told you it's now we're into over number seven as Rasta comes up and bows to Wiley again. And he's in the air. It's a here's a chance for a run out. And it's a dead ball, so it's still 6.1 overs. Rasta, your ball, I'm a travel Rasta. Don't make your ball, I'm travel with this. Rasta. Any other side, not the side. Gave it. It seemed as if Rasta's deliveries went to the embassy yesterday. <laughs> as Rasta comes up and bows to Wiley again. And it's the same treatment. Jesus That's a brilliant God. feeling. Preventing four runs. And Ben. And Ben, Ben 
couldn't bend. <laughs> As, and there we go. And that's another visa. And while he moves on to 29, the score moves on to 65. And after Charlie was disappointed with Wiley not taking the single, Charlie has a little smirk on his face. Then it's 65 for two. As Rasta comes up and goes to Wiley again. That's the fourth ball of the over. So it's a six, then a dot, then another. That then six. That's why about to face the fifth delivery from Rasta down the track. And it's pulled away for four. While he continues his brilliant batting, it's 69. His favorite number, he ensure he made the scoreboard reach his 69. As he continues to appeal to 69 back for a sponsorship. He moves on to 33 as Rasta comes up and bows to Wiley. Oh, yeah. And he goes for 33. And Wiley seemed a bit disappointed with that swing. It's a brilliant innings from him. And now he went for 35 runs. And Isla. The new batsman at the crease. 69 for three, and Wiley had to make sure he was dismissed when the score is on 69. Appealing very much to 69 back for their sponsorship. It's a sad day. So we are about to investigate if he's really that desperate for a sponsorship. And there's a chance for a run out at the non strikers end. At the bowlers end, sorry. And Rasta was gazing. <laughs> and Isla. I'm wondering what kind of batting is that? It's an unorthodox. Yes! And that's a brilliant shot. And a brilliant save from the field of preventing three runs. And the score moves on to 70 for three. And that's a shot. And it goes for six. Inside out from Breeze. And we have the special at the bar. A thousand dollars gives you three Magnum or four beers. And that's in the air. It didn't go far. And Romy, who pretend to be one of the fastest fielder, was beaten. By the back spin of the ball. The score moves on to 77. <laughs> 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 and there we go, it's in the air. Is Alex gonna take the catch? He does take the catch. Yeah. And Isla. After he prayed to Allah, he went back to the pavilion. And Mashdog takes a wicket. And at the end of over number eight is the legendary Magnum Boss. I score, I score them. The score is 78 for four of eight overs. And, and he's edged and gone for four and that's the over 
Is this the over that defies the match? And Hyde looking to maintain their dominance in this derby fixture. Score moves on to 82 for 4. As Frisco bowling to Vaughn. There's a chance for a run out. Mashdog playing with the ball instead of trying to stop it. And he goes for overthrow. He's still running for another single. And he goes. It's another single. Out of the over. 84 for 4. And that's Brilliant hit from Vaughn. The score moves on to 90 for four. And Vaughn has stays bowling. He's bowling with the wind. He got the in swinger. And he takes the wicket of Vaughn. That should have been troubled, but instead it hits the bay, the stumps and the bail keeps flying. The score is still on 90. And Vaughn went short on Magnum. And so his energy evaded him very quickly. And he's back to the pavilion quicker than he expected. And the score is 90 for 5. We're still into over number 9, which is the penultimate over of the innings. And Samora trying to play set bat. And Samora. And now Mash Cat about to bowl the final over of the innings. It's 90 runs on the board and wickets in hand for Gibraltar Royals. For Hyde Blasters, sorry. As Gibraltar Royals trying to come out on top in this derby fixture. And that's edged away for four. And Ben at the backward square didn't even try to give chase. And I think the Batman should stay on charge the ball. And it's 94 for 5. As Mashcat comes up and bows to Breeze. Breeze hitting with the wind. But the wind is not on his side. And that's another swing. <laughs> that's another swing and a miss. And Romy. It's now 90, it's still 94 for 5. And finally Romy after catching a ball to stump. The batsman is animated for his brilliant piece of feeling because he's been misfeeling behind the stumps all innings. As Mashcat comes up and bows to breeze down the track. Mika. And we know on cold water. On cold water. Blessings. And we are looking at the umpire for their final decision. Yeah man. That's what I'm on. And it's 94 for 5 after 10 overs. Oh, you mean, yeah? Bad one. Bad one already started already, still. And it's a cat. See, you can find the screen there. Cat. Mm, yeah, man. Just want to remind everyone that we have special at the bar. $1,000 gives you three magnum. And also, a thousand dollars can provide you with four refreshing beers. Yes! Oh, screw you. 
Brilliant hit straight down the ground. And Romy looking fired up for this derby game. And Charlie hoping he doesn't travel again. Lately we've seen openers ensuring the bowlers delivery get green card. Some goes for citizenship. And that's in the air, it's a brilliant catch and Robbie goes! And the Hyde Blasters are up to a flyer. And Romy a bit disappointed with himself after his action. And of course, Hyde Blasters strike in the first over. And Samora clapping his team after he almost missed field for four runs. As Isla comes up and ball to Frisco. And Isla brings to Allah. Comes up and balls to. And it's in the air. Is it going to be taken? It's. It goes for six. Frisco kid knock you, man. And of course, news to the commentary area and a wide signal by the umpire. 13 for one. Watch them, watch them. to over number two. We're now hearing that Frisco was signed for a bag of Kisco. And of course, that's the bottom edge. For four runs. Sometimes it's very hard to comment on cricket games. The comments are going to be another swing. Frisco trying to plant yam. I'm guessing because he's in Trelawney. And Isla closing his eyes, praying to Allah, bowl the ball as well. That's the widest delivery ever to bowl in this competition. That is so a fraud. It's wide by day and night. And that's the reason Isla closed his eye in the previous delivery. Comes up and bowls up. And he's ahead and he goes. And Frisco, not as frisky as the name. And Isla prayed and he took a wicket. Brilliant catch from Bim. Wiley, the wicket keeper, sorry. Trying to regain his sponsorship from 69, even the glove. He had to change. They stripped him of everything. The jersey had to change. The hairstyle, the mohawk. Even the hair dye had to go. That was a part of the clause in his contract. Once they terminate their service, everything has to go. So he's back to a normal man. But he's trying to regain the sponsorship. And what a time to close the contract, Kili. Just as soon as Wiley got into top gear in his cricket. Unfortunately, that's what happened. But Wiley's going to rebound because he's been scoring some. Yeah, man, yeah, man, this is gonna get back a bigger sponsorship after this game. We have a new commentary. And we have, we have of course the skipper of Top Tone All Star in the commentary area today. 
Word to us is that Wiley hoping to gain the regain his sponsorship from 69. So far, 69 has tweeted never. But we never know, it's a game of sports. It's all about it's a brilliant shot from Gregory. The chance for a run out. He can't take your beard. And Mari gazing. Marsha Pants so tight, the chair. And that's the fastest Gregory could go. Blows, Nazi And of course, Samora bowling to the advantage of the pitch. Lots of bounce and the pace. And Mash Dog. Just watch him, man. Not a good friend of pace. And it's a brilliant shot right in the slot for six. And we all know Barry gave Samora the formula for the uh, sugar. <laughs> and that's uh, sugar at its best. It's 26 for two. We're into over number three. Easy, dog. And it's a brilliant comeback from Samora. When this series is over, all the bowlers, their delivery get green card. There have been no deliveries left in the Caribbean. And we also get words is that Beachy revoked Laben's green card, so he's no longer able to travel on green card. But if he has visa, then there is hope. Unless he's traveling to the Caribbean for vacation. And Breeze bowling to Gregory, who previously gave up, although he was at full speed. And he's in here, and Mari looked as if he was going to take a catch. It would have been mission impossible. And team, I depend on you, sir. And it, the score moves on to 32 for two. As Breeze comes up and bows to Gregory. And it's a no ball by Breeze. And it's a free hit. Signal by the umpire. Hoping to welcome this free hit as Breeze comes up and most him. It's a swing and a miss by Gregory. Score still remain on 33 for two. We're into over number four. Come on, Gregory. Come on, Gregory. Look a shot. Breeze comes up and bows to Gregory. Yeah. In the air. Is he going to be taken? It's a brilliant catch taken by the fielder. Hyde introducing the youths. In fact, two of them today. Ethan and the other youngster. And Gregory goes. And Gregory will be disappointed because he's looking on the future of this of this Hyde team. So they have a lot of garbage to come. And the big money signing jugs that may have to rescue Gibraltar. Jugs Lord looking on a bit nervous. And that's a wide signal by the umpire. The score moves on to 34 for three. As Breeze comes up and moves to Alex. It's another wide signal by the umpire. It's now 34, 35 for three. Breeze missing his line. Oh, and it's yes. a beautiful delivery from him. And Alex not going to give up his wicket. We all know the last time Alex was here, he made a duck, hoping to redeem himself. And Levar running alongside the ball instead of trying to cut it off. And at the end of over number four, it's 35 for three. Require another 61 runs to win.
Yeah, tell him about good move. And Charlie about to bowl to Mash Dog. And that delivery was sponsored by Ital Stew from Charlie. That's a brilliant delivery from him as he looked up to the heavens and said, Cha Cha. So this is a big move by the High Blasters team. Bringing back their spearhead. Rascadel looking to break the backbone of this Gibraltar batting lineup. They have to ensure they use them before the Aita still wears out. The Aita still is still in effect, Bravo, so they have to make sure they use him to full effect. He didn't bat, so he has all the energy stored up for bowling. As Rasta Gadel turns, comes up and bows to Mash Dog. It's a wide by the Rasta, missing his line. Charlie comes up and bows to yeah. and he's in the air it should be taken by the bar and it's a brilliant catch everybody get catch and Rasta again strikes the Aital still is in full effect I want to go on, I want to go on, everybody get catch So we want to big up our sponsors, Bounce, V Barnet, Food Store, Everslick Media, Pencil Man, Barry's Bar, Top Town Sports Club of course, live coverage by Everslick Media and Jamaica Street Sports, remember the special at the bar. That was a brilliant delivery from Rasta as the ball clicks the tail but they didn't move. Right through, our ball we got through. Pass the ball go right through. And of course, the Bears were intact. As Charlie comes up and bows to Mash Cat. And it's a maiden over from Rasta leading from the front. Wicked maiden. And of course, that's Aita still at its best. And Isla, praying again, comes up and bows to Alex. I don't know what is that. That's the sacrifice of the over. It's now 37 for four. We're into over number six. That's the first legal delivery of over number six. Watch your foot, umpire, watch your foot. As Isla comes up and bows to Alex. It's in the air, is he gonna be taken? Mari with the return. And Wiley. Feeling very well today. He was good with the batting and so far good with the feeling. Trying to regain his sponsorship. And that's a swing and a miss from Mashkat. As Isla comes up and bows to Mashkat, it's the trouble. That's one of the high six. Oh God! Uh -uh. And Isla went straight back to the Middle East. Oh that was God. out of the park. And Crablad will be filing lawsuit for that six. <laughs> Everything went flat-footed over there. Watch out. 
And Isla, that's one of the worst white ball I've ever seen. And Mashkat about to go down the track to meet Isla. And that's a slow delivery and a swing and a miss from Mashkat. Yeah. And at the end of over number six, it's 45 for four. This innings is very entertaining. Wicket stumbling, run scoring, lots of misfield. 50 to win, required by 50 runs from 30. From 24, oh, 24 deliveries, 24 legal deliveries. And Wiley, at his best, he is hoping to get the sponsorship of 69. He's about to bowl. He so far is the player of the match, unless something miraculous happens. True tired. Tired. Come back in. You want the ball? Come back in, man. You see it? You see it? You want the ball? Talk of come back in. Yeah. Yeah. Score moves on to 46 for four. That's why he comes up and bows to Alex. Watch your crease now. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And of course, Breeze <laughs> on the deep mid wicket boundary, behaving as if he's on a trampoline. Missed that boundary. Watch him, man. Come on, even that we will take it. Even the white we will take it. All right, guys. All right, four. Four, man. Four, man. Four, man. Four, man. Four. Four. Come on, come, suck it. It's now 55. Four. 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 Another 40 over, to win over. by Gibraltar. Three overs remaining, 18. Deliveries remaining, 18 legal deliveries, and they required 40 runs. This should be gettable. Come on, PS6. Wickets in hand. Come on, 5 6 in our member. This is a brilliant derby. Yeah, man. Uh, and Samora over has the Uru Sugar Formula. Rasta, you read a big game, man. Rasta, you read a big game, Rasta. Read a big game, Rasta. And Samora, first delivery in his final over is a wide. Samora comes up and bows to Mashkat and it's good. That's done far over. And that's 
Sugar at its best. The score moves on to 62 for four as Samora comes up and bows to Mash Cat. It's in the air, but it's not a catch. Samora comes up and bows to Mashkat. That's a brilliant back of a leg delivery. Samora, smart bowling so far. In the 7.3 overs, as Samora comes up and bows to Mashkat. There's a chance for a run out and a misfield from Bim. And of course, Alex would have been out by a day. And it's 63 for four in 7.4 of us. And there's a chance for Ronald Nebar trying to run him out. And he's safe. It's now 64 for four in a seven point five overs. And it's in the air. This should be taken. And it's And at the end of number eight, it's 64 for four. And this can be costly for Hyde Blasters. And Mashkat is mashing it all over like mashed potato. And this is a very important over. This over will defy the match it's 31 to win with 31 to win from 12 legal deliveries from 12 ball this is the over and breeze so <laughs> As Breeze Breeze comes up and bows to Alex And it's a wide signal by the umpire So it's now 30 to win From 12 legal deliveries Come on 5, 6 and all. Jesus Christ. So the game is Interestingly, boys, with Gibraltar Royals, have the swashbuckling batsman was a Ross and Yai Ball and Ben in the no, go make it, no, go make it. They're looking to no, get this go make it. with no time, but I blasters have, have had ideas. So it's 30 needed from 11 legal deliveries. Who will come out and top? Can Holmes? Oh, that's a beautiful delivery by Seabreeze. You could see the plan. With the eye blasters covering the boundaries and giving Gibraltar the singles. Come on, come on. Five, six, seven, brother. Not sure if this bowler is bowling to the field setup. He's bowling pretty much on stumps. And he has a brilliant packed cover off field. And now, 29 runs to get as Breeze comes up and bowls to. That up from way outside of off stump to play leg side for six. It's now 72 for four. And that's a brilliant comeback from Breeze. His ball traveled with the wind. Yo, somebody go tell the captain of the man. And I just stopped him for the player, you know. 
No man, in the league too much wicket. 23 runs to win. From seven legal deliveries. Lot more sixes required by Gibraltar to pull off their first victory over Hyde Blasters in this derby fixture. And 23 from the final over. And this over is going to be the over of the game. Will this over be the over when Wiley regain his contract from 69? And Wiley, of course, hoping to hear breaking news of his contract. We are breaking news. We are breaking news that Wiley's agent is on his way to the 69 headquarters to negotiate. As Wiley comes up and bows to Alex. So far, there has not been any final word on what, how the negotiations are going so far. Will this over defies the contract for Wiley? And he's holding him. And he goes. And I heard they have come to an agreement. But it's not yet finalized. Four fours. And we have youths. As Wally comes up and bows to. Asman, who's luck? Asman, who's luck? Yes. Yes. And that's a six. It's 17 runs to win from two deliveries. Oh, God. And it's a head shot of court. And he goes for six. As Rajay goes back to the pavilion, three ball face. Come on, jokes, lad. We are defense by you. We are defense by you, jokes, lad. We are defense by you. No the man no, with the no, nine shape no, 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 like a whistle on his jersey. <laughs> and that we're trying to see who is a sponsor. As you can see, there is space on the left hand side for the six. I heard 69 was about to give him the contract until Wiley has won this game for his team. As why it and that's a wide signal by the umpire. It's now 79. 79 for six. And that's a brilliant shot by Jugs Lord. He remains not out on zero. And he, he's run out. <laughs> With an emphatic finish to this game, Jugs Lord goes. Run out on his first <laughs> delivery. <laughs> and that's the end of game number five on day three of this T10 tournament. The second fixture. We will see the Schema Super Kings versus Roma. Roma Knights.